Welcome to Monster Train. It is a roguelike deck builder, similar to Slay the Spire, Needleverse, uh, not quite like uh, Steam World Quest, but it is a deck builder, so I guess there's some similarities there. Uh, there's probably a good few of these that you guys have all played. Uh, aesthetically, it does remind me a little bit of Hearthstone. Uh, Gameplay wise, though, it is quite exciting. Like, actually, very, very, very. I just did a multiplayer run just now, uh, and. It was just intense because you're racing as other players, and of course I won. Actually, I got fourth place, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> it's you're racing as other players through the through the boss fights, and so you're just you're stacking cards, you're trying to pick the best, make the best choices, and just in, in split second decisions, and I just just flying through each each individual event. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm not going to show you the single player, the multiplayer today, but I can tell you that it is pretty intense. There's also a, a couple other options here with a daily challenge and the custom challenges. Uh, I did the hell rush, and it was like I said, it was it was a rush. Um, single player here. We're going to take our time today. And I'm going to show you guys how the game is played, uh, how just kind of the feel for the game. And of course, you know, uh, make some of you guys a little upset some of the decisions I make because that's what I do. So I did just recently uh, the, on the last stream where I streamed this, I did actually beat the game or beat, uh, beat a run. I should say beat the game, but I beat a run, uh, which unlocked this down here. So Covenant Rank 2. Uh, so this is where I can actually, uh, Covenant Rank 1, this is where I can actually now go ahead and increase the difficulty of, uh, of enemies. But what I'm going to do is... We're going to start here because I'm familiar with this <laughs> and this is how you're going to start out. So at the top here, you can see we have uh, uh, different clans right here that we can switch to. Uh, there's a couple that are locked, but I did not unlock a new one. Uh, these guys, the Stygian Guard, I have not used them yet, so I'm going to go with what I know for this run. But you have you could uh, combine these uh, and take advantage of their individual decks and use those uh, use those combinations and use those uh, uh, those de those deck and card synergies in order to create you know basically what, how, whatever kind of weird build that you want to come up with as you're playing through the game. Uh, now it is a rogue like where you do have uh, some uh, I should say rogue light really because there is some uh, progression I, obviously here you see XP and all this, uh, but there is the uh, um, there, there's still there's still a finality to each run. So you're gonna go through. And you're gonna create all these deck synergies, all these card synergies. Wait, wow, this is amazing. And then at the end of your run, it's gone, right? So let's go ahead and depart here. Hop on the train. Lots of uh, you know, we start off in limbo. So you get this whole Dante's Inferno type uh, type aesthetic here. I mean, it's very Dante's Inferno actually. But go ahead and scroll down here. Once we get to stop here, there we go. We'll kind of scroll down. You can see each ring is here. But the the, the rings here are, uh, I would say, abstracts of what Dante's Inferno is. You know, I mean, as a whole, they're all like frozen. But I believe that as you get through them, they start to thaw a little bit, um, and you can see what they truly look like, uh, if I recall. I believe that's the case, because I don't remember them all being frozen, honestly. All right, here we go. Uh, forge your champion. So your champion card is pretty much your like your first card you get that 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 is your. Um, it's your champion basically and you could upgrade them as you go you only get one champion uh, and you get options like this as you progress to make them stronger in one area or the other uh, this one's kind of nice so uh, rejuvenate deal 15 damage to the front enemy units and what's nice is you can see uh, the with the tooltip there it says triggers when healed even at full health so I always put this one down at the front it cannot attack very similar to Hearthstone in this, in this regard, right? There's the mana cost right here. There's uh, this right here. They're called pips. I'll tell you about those in just a second. Uh, you have health, and then you have your actual damage. And it tells you what kind of spell or what kind of card it is right down here at the bottom. Uh, revenge, draw one. Ooh, that's kind of a good one, too. Ooh, draw one. Let's go draw one, actually. We can stack some cards. And we'll, what we'll do is we'll kind of forego any of the other... Um, uh, draw card things. We'll get a couple more just to make sure we have a full deck, a full hand every single play, which I think is like 10 cards. Let's see. Hell's Banner's Artifact. When you summon the second unit during a turn, gain three. Oh, wow. We're definitely getting that. Uh, at the start of a battle, summon four random units from your deck on the middle floor. <sighs> what? <laughs> no, I want some control. <laughs> I want some control. I, so, I, I, it's funny. As many runs as I've done, which is not a lie. I've done uh, three or four runs. Um... But you see a lot of cards, and you see a lot of stuff as you play even a single run. I, I'm still seeing tons of stuff that's just like, what? I, like, like new cards. There must be like hundreds and hundreds of cards here, and 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 boosts and you know uh, effects and whatever. So here we go. Uh, so Mark, so the trial here will give you an additional coin reward 
And but it, but of course there's a penalty here or there's a, a challenge. This is at the start of a battle, an enemy appears on each floor. Now if I had gotten the uh, the perk that allowed uh, random enemies or random uh, uh, units be spawned in the middle floor, this would be probably beneficial. Go this route, but we're not gonna do that. Uh, you know I'm gonna go for it. Anyway. <laughs> I ain't no bitch. Look at get this. Here we go. Mark of Invasion. So this tells you the, basically the enemy's perk, right? The same way I have a perk where I could get like what the three ember after every em ember is mana, by the way. Uh, they get a perk as well. At the start of the battle, enemies appear on each floor. So, boom, boom, boom. Here we go. So let's go ahead and put. I'm gonna do this. Now we don't have. And this sucks because we're kind of in a weird position here. I'm gonna go ahead and do this and this. And what sucks is if I had the rejuvenation uh, where the uh we're rejuvenating them will give us more uh what is it uh more cards or you can do damage to the front units well i mean that would have been yeah nice there i would have been just slicing through these guys so my pyre at the very top there has a limited amount of health this is actually a terrible start by the way <laughs> this is like the worst possible start but it's part of the challenge right all right let's go ahead and throw him here we got three right so one two we'll get three ember which is cool <laughs> We'll start getting through some of these guys. One, two, three. There, now that's going to be clear. Um, they're not going to get this. This is the uh, the goblin. <clears throat> Luke Goblin, so we're not going to get that. And then we'll throw another regen on you. Because we can. And we'll throw a regen on one of you guys because we can. The front one, because obviously he's going to take a beat. So here we go. He's going to survive. He's going to get regen. There we go. There we go. Ooh, man. Ooh, ooh. We got to, we got to, we got to figure this out ah uh, yes pips perfect so right here you have your floor capacity and that is indicated by the number of you know dots that you can slots that you can fill here and each card has their own I think this pretty much has already explained it here for you but you can get upgrades to this to increase the amount that you can put on a single floor you can also get cards that will move characters uh, allies up and down uh, floors and it, it, it completely ignores capacity so you could take a huge mob that you have spawned here and move them up even if it's a full rack and the game is not going to even flinch it's totally fine with it so that's really really cool let's go ahead and see if we can slice through some of these guys we got three here we go one two this is going to give us our bonus and then we can use this to go through some of these guys uh this guy's going to make it to the top unfortunately but let's go ahead and try to thin the let me see let's go put on 23 he's got 5 10 10 well, how much damage does this thing 20 oh you know what oh it's going to take still through two shots oh man my uh my poor, 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 poor pyre. The pyre at the top is your, is basically it's the lifeblood of your uh, of your your train. So it does do an attack, which is nice, but it, obviously it takes damage as well. You do get options to upgrade this as you or, or, or heal it up while you're playing, but you know that's a risk. <laughs> here we go, final guy here. Let me see. Uh, so he's gonna die, obviously. But let's go ahead and take care of this guy because he does five damage. So we'll at least take take that out. Uh, he's at 10, so we can go ahead and do this. And then a rejuve on you. A rejuve on... That's not going to matter for you, really. Actually, it doesn't matter. I don't have any more spells. So... He's going to just face... Oh, so because it's the last boss, they're going to continue fighting over and over again until... Look at all these cards. <laughs> the fight's going to continue moving on that floor until... Uh-oh. Uh uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, and, until and, until the enemies are done, or until the allies are, are cleared, then the enemy move to the top. Now he still has full freaking health, so this is sucks. <laughs> uh, the good news is there's no good news actually. All these are just spells. Damn. So this is yeah. So you get a card, a weight of contrition, and what happens is, and this this will show up a lot. Your pyre. If I hold onto this card at the end of the turn, then my pyre takes three damage. So do I want to go and sacrifice that damage simply to to try to do some more damage to this guy? He's gonna do 20 damage here. He's gonna make it to the top floor. Wow, this is a terrible, terrible start. I think I'm gonna go with the damage. I don't want I don't want this guy making it to the top because well, he does one hit on, on, on the pyre, and that's gonna negate this anyways, right? So let's see if we can stop him before he gets there. So it takes three damage. Attack, attack, attack. We have to get really lucky with some cards here. Okay. Now he's going to make it through this one as well. God damn, really? Yeah. They're gonna, he's going to slice through these dudes. Oh, man. I think in this case we might... Oh, he's, he's already done. There's X right there, so that means he's done. Let them go ahead and... Uh... Oh, team, I should have thrown away the card. <laughs> Alright, so I took, some, I took six damage I didn't have to. Three damage I didn't have to. Here we go. Alright, so... <laughs> Here's your points. 
Uh, let's see, Sting, Steel, Enhancer. Enhance the unit with plus three attack and plus three health. Deal three damage, move that unit to the front. This is a very, very cool card. Uh, obviously situational because you could do the damage to your own guy if you wanted to as well. So if you have somebody that is in the back that you want to move to the front and you're okay with sacrifice of three damage, you could use it. And this, this applies to a lot of cards actually. Uh, but I think I'm gonna go with this one because the draw one is pretty nice. I didn't, I knew I didn't set up, wasn't gonna get too many of those, but I want to get enough to, uh, uh, oh god, look, oh man, imps. Oh, hold on a second, let me think here. Uh, apply rage three, deal five damage to enemy units, just straight damage, or a beefy guy. Let's get a beefy guy. A beefy boy. So you could build imp synergy cards. Ah, uh, yes, it does thaw out. That's right. Okay, cool. So imp, imp, imp synergy decks. So basically imps that, uh, there's all these different imps, and then you have enemies cards, or sorry, uh, allied cards that will, uh, gain, gain bonuses depending on how many uh, imps you have and typically they're pretty powerful cards. We may or may not see that in this run though Let me see so you could choose which path you want to go on one side I could get uh, gain a hellhorn unit on the other side I could get some money uh, or forge some spells to gain new powers So I would say forge units to gain new powers And actually before we go here, let's go ahead and get this uh, hellhorn unit see if it's something we could use see Brandon warrior Let's see gain we gain Armor five. So resolve is um, after combat. Yeah, I said right there. Resolve after combat. Uh, if if you put this guy on a floor by himself, like maybe third floor or something like that, by the time any of your uh, any of the enemies make it to the top, he's gonna have just a ton of armor. Uh, let me see. Apply rage three to friendly units, and that's cool too. But let's get this. I'd rather have a tank. Stop these guys from getting to the freaking top. Um, even though, I mean, I don't know if you noticed, but they don't necessarily have to clear every single floor every time, the enemies, right? Uh, only on the final boss fight do they continue fighting until every until somebody dies on the first floor, right? Or on each floor. Uh, Fury Stone, upgrade a unit with rage 7, upgrade a unit with plus 25 health. Wow, upgrade a unit with plus 1 pip and plus 15. So we can make somebody, like, really, really strong. Let's take a look at this and see. Uh, of course, it's going to be costly. God, if we did this to this guy, Jesus. Don't also do it to this guy too. Make this guy not only have his own armor, but also make him, uh, and it's only two pips too. You know what, let's try that. I, yeah, upgrade this guy. See, uh, upgrade a unit with plus 25 health. You don't have to use all these, of course, you know? You don't have to, but you can only have two upgrade slots here, so you gotta be careful what you choose for what. Let me actually go to upgrade unit with rage. Rage, uh, seven, what should I give that to? Should get one of my guys here. Let's try it. We'll just have one with rage seven. Just does seven bonus damage, and then you know what? Let's go ahead and get that same dude. Let's go ahead and make, we'll have a maxed out crazy. Uh... <laughs> there we go. Perfect. We still have a little bit of coin left over. Let's move. Okay. Let's see, aggressive amulet. Non-boss enemy units get four extra damage. I get a unit trap. Let's do it. Let's. We should just do all the trials because I don't know. Just. Just because. <laughs> All right, non-boss enemies, yep. So they get additional, wow, look at that, six and five. Whew. Still one health though. Uh, five damage to the enemy unit, front enemy units. Let's go and draw this one. He's gonna take a lot of, a lot of damage here, but, and then we got some super amount of health here. So like I said, I do wanna put this guy probably on the third floor just to get him, just to get him ready, right? And then they're gonna clear through this first floor, so we might as well go and park somebody here. Then what we'll do is, uh, we'll just do Sting, and then might as well throw a Restore on it, because she's gonna take damage for sure, and I'll get that back on the next turn. So Resolve, boom, plus five armor. Keep on attacking. So already now, he's gonna take three damage, right? Three attacks here, boom, boom, boom. Uh, so I'm gonna get three other card, three new cards for the next run. So let me see, uh, but I do wanna clear through some of this. I mean, I want that money too, damn. Well, actually, he'll take care of it on the next turn, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, let's go ahead and torch, dude. Oh, he gets stronger with every. Mm, 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 mm. Well, he's gonna, he's gonna die with this, right? Let's see, twenty-two. Oh, guys, so close. Squeeze another one on there. Nope, nope, cannot. Let me if I just zap him one more time, and he'll definitely right. Let me see, twenty-three, and this is so five. Nope, twenty-two. But he'll have one health left. <laughs> So this guy probably has the same thing with the resolve, see so his spell thing there, just hover over it and see what it says. I uh, can't, yep, so any spells will give him a boost. Let me go ahead and do, well, let's go ahead and actually put another guy back here just to back him up a little. 
and then we have enough to spend some more on this and on this. Not really worried so much about getting extra cards from this situation here. I'm more worried about just keeping it alive, just keeping this thing going, so. Good, some money. Zap, zap, zap. Card. How much, what does he got here? He's got uh, 10 armor, and he's got, he's got three health. Yeah, he's done. Um, let me see, okay, so we had a little bit of reprieve here, so let's go ahead and put, uh, let's see, apply 15 armor to the front unit. Oh, okay, that's right, he's more expensive now because of that. So I can put him here, here. He doesn't really get anything for, hmm. They'll yeah, put him in the back, there we go. Obviously that guy's dead. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really squeeze a train suit anywhere, so let's go ahead and just do some uh, some basic attacks here. One. Oh, he's already dead, so let's do this guy. Just finish him off, and then that's it. This is probably going to be a pretty easy run, considering we're on pretty much the final wave. <laughs> so let's see, we'll zap. We'll zap. We're going to do another zap. And then that's pretty much all we can do. Restore. Yeah, this is, this is totally that. I'm gonna hold on right click here, and that's gonna allow me to uh, speed up the gameplay. Oh my god, I really gotta get rid of some of these cards. <laughs> get down, here we go. Oh, whoops! <laughs> you know, it's funny. When I was streaming this, I, one of the one of the uh, one of the issues that I, I had was with the um, the way the cards when you when you hover over them, it doesn't quite feel as fluid as it needs to be. It almost feels like the cards need to be smaller, so there's a more of a space, especially when you get a lot of cards. Like right now, this is perfect, right? But when you have like ten cards, like it really adds up, man. Uh, let's see. I guess might as well do some of this. Do some of this. Let's, let's try not to heal him this time. There we go. Can't really put that guy anywhere. Go heal on somebody. Done. Oh, by the imp! Dang! Oh God! I'm telling your friends. Cool, so we get another unit. Let me see, not for this one. Let me see, enhance unit with plus three, plus three. Uh, deal three damage to the, uh, move the enemy to the front, and sting. I really, really like sting. I'm gonna use it. It's free, it's a free five damage. Uh, let's see, allied clan rank. Let's go ahead and get another imp. And just pray that we get, you know, the uh, thing we want. Oh, here we go. Uh, so this guy, revenge, gain one ember. I, you know, I, I, I had this character and I was using him. I wasn't using him to his best ability when I was streaming. And it was making so many people mad. Uh, <laughs> uh, because that other things I was throwing at the bottom, uh, on the bottom. But that guy, I mean, every time he takes a hit, you get more ember. So it's like, with especially with the ability to get a lot of cards, it's like I want to have one person that's taking a lot of hits, then you get revenge equals one card, and another person taking a bunch of hits and get ember for each attack. But remember, only the front character takes damage. So you can't have a bunch of guys on the first floor, and or the, the, most of the attacks go to the front character, should I say? I should say. Let me see, gain an artifact. Artifacts are pretty handy. If you're lucky, let's do that. Uh, merchant costs are reduced by 25%. Unit costs minus two. Oh, oh, dude. Oh my god. So basically, units are free. I mean, in most cases, units are free. That's amazing. Let me see, look at free, free. <laughs> uh, on friendly units, uh, rage on friendly unit adds an additional plus two attack. And then uh, the horned warrior is a big swinger. But let's go on with the damage. The range group, rather. Crystal Caverns. Another random event. What do we get here? Hmm. This guy's pretty interesting. So, honest, you get the gift of gratitude, purge. So you get a card that you can play and you gain. You just basically gain money. Uh, let's see. Your pyre gets plus one attack for every 10 gold you have, which can be handy if you're not spending a lot of money. Uh, and then stealthy, deal two damage to an enemy unit. Play, the pay is uh, 50. Um, yeah, I'll, yeah, damn, it's tough. Let me see, purge, gain 30. I'll just go with this one, just get tons of coin. Because we're going to recycle that coin anyways. The pyre doing a lot of damage is great too. Don't, don't get me wrong. Okay, let's move on. Bom, 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 bom. Okay, this guy. So, this is the boss fight where he's going to sit off to the side and move from floor to floor. So, uh, And he's going to spawn bombs too. And this one does, which is one, it changes, every other run you get something different, right? Sometimes they, uh, in this case, it, it's damage shield, so it's going to take two attacks in order to uh, take out the bomb before it does ten damage to everyone on the floor. But thankfully we don't have to worry about it because, you know, he's not, uh, well, he's not on the floor we care about. But, I could put this guy up there and gain an extra ember for the next round. That would not be a bad idea. And then we could still put, oh, you know what, let's put this guy on the first floor, put him first. And then we'll put, let me see, he's got 40 health. We'll put him behind. 
Now that is a stacked first floor. <laughs> and then we will put up here, just to give me a draw one. Take a little bit of damage, but it's fine. I would use this against somebody to, you know, to get some extra kills here, but I'm not. So we'll just keep that heal going. And then... I will actually take out the extra. There we go. Just for fun. So we're ready to get a car to get train steward. Boom, boom. You can see my Amber's already stacking up here. There we go. A five Ember this round. Oh, man. You guys are rough. Let me see. Gain. Uh, 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 uh. There's my Rage, dude. We should put him somewhere. We got five here. We can do Rage. Rage, bro. This guy with just so much health and so much resources. The sun, suddenly, look, he's even bigger, too, by the way. <laughs> uh, let's see. Top floor, we're going to do Resolve uh, in the back, just in case he falls. And there's really nothing else we can do here. Let me see. Heal. Oh, it can't. Ooh, scary. There we go. And there's nothing else we can really do. So I'm gonna hope for basically a lot of attacks to get, uh, get some cards, get some ember. Again, at least two, obviously. Ah, so now we really want to go ahead and take care of this. We'll do this, and then we'll do. Oh, well, I get to, oh, that's gonna delete the rest of my uh, uh, the rest of my mana or ember. So don't want to do that. Let's go and do this. Take care of him. And then restore, restore, uh, yeah, restore, and then we'll spend that. Speed things up a little bit. You see, deal five damage to all enemy units. God, that thing is really nice. But I don't have any four to really stuff them on here. Actually, you know what? Uh, if I put them here, I'll put them in the front. No, put them in front. Put them in front. Put them in front. Put them in front. We go. We can just, we can just negate this damage right now. Don't have to worry about it. Let's see, staying five damage to everybody. Um, let me see. We could finish this guy off, or we could just do this. Let me see, fifteen twenty. Yeah, let's do this actually. There. And then I can't do anything with him, right? Nope. Okay. As you can see, the uh, boss does not attack. Uh, but on the final stage, you'll see how how the final attacks move. He's moved from the bottom to the top, basically. So you'll see how that operates in just a minute here. Let me go ahead and do Sting. And we'll do another Sting. And then we'll do this guy. And then we'll do this guy. And then we'll do this guy. Ah, he's getting so strong, I know. And then we'll just throw a... No. And nothing with that. Meanwhile, my dude up here is gaining all kinds of armor. Okay, final wave. Here we go. Start from the bottom. They're going to fight to the death. Let's go ahead. We can put one, two, three heals to get that health up so you get an extra couple of hits. Uh, right now, as of right now, he's got he's eight and he's got 15. So you figure two hits and he's done. But if I give him, uh, as he regen two health, now he's got three hits and he's done. So that's perfect. And then for you, you're going to live for a second. But let's go ahead and give you some of this. And... Yeah, might as well do that. Then we'll draw this. Just stave off a little extra damage there. And then that is all we can squeeze in. So here we go. They're going to go back and forth until this floor is clear. Good. Too clever for you, huh? Mm, I don't know, man. <laughs> Let's see. 8 damage again. Is it 18? I, can, I, can I take him up to... No, even if I did 22, he's still going to be gone in a couple of hits. So let's see. Let's focus on people up here. Get these guys healed up. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and do the rest of the damage to this guy. Oops. Come on. There we go. Oh, wow. He wins. He's not going to make it to the top floor, I don't think. No, there's no way. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go and do his thing. Let's go and do this. <laughs> let's go and redo. And then as a... The end. <laughs> there was no point in drawing those initial cards. Just wanted to do it for fun. Uh, let's see. Uh, so we got a rare pack and major enhancements. Oh, beautiful. Reinforce consume double armor on a unit. Wow. Actually. Wow, wow. Oh, here we go. Deal. Oh, this is perfect. Deal. So this is what I was talking about, like, getting those uh, imp synergy decks. Uh, this impolate, basically, the more imps I have in my deck, not in play, in my deck, 
uh, will do more damage per, so 15 damage per. Uh, let me see, applies regen spikes, add a copy of this card to the discard pile, and the double armor unit. This is a really good card too, but this is super cheap. I'd rather go for the cheap ones. And, I mean, jeez. Gain 40 max health, rejuvenate, gain spike plus two, or rage for the units, horde warrior. Uh, let's do the, th let's do damage. But which one though? We have a couple tanky guys, we can put these guys behind. Mm, let's rejuvenate. Yeah, you know what? Let's do this one. And then, yeah, here, so this is what we're gonna do. There's obviously more ember or draw plus one each turn, but we have enough things to give us this, these. Uh, so I'm not gonna bother with those. I'm gonna go with plus one each floor. And my pirate gets more damage too. That's across the board. Plus 10, plus 30 health. So plus 10 damage, plus 30 health. Da -da -da. Money, uh, heal my pyre. How much damage is that? Oh, he's okay. Ish. Duplicate any card except for your champion. Ooh, which one would I want to do here? If I were to duplicate somebody, I would duplicate an imp actually, because that's straight 15 damage here. So I'd pick something like, for example, my beefy imp. You know what? We're going on that side. Uh, let's just like to remove two cards from your deck, which can be handy if you want to remove some cards. So yeah, let's go this way. So first we'll collect the money. Then we'll uh, go ahead and heal up. Let me see, upgrade your champion. Uh, we can't upgrade, yeah, we can upgrade the champ. We can't duplicate the champion, so. So let's do the imp that I have. Yeah, the super imp. <laughs> so duplicate that guy. <laughs> this is what I love about the game is that you can just come up with these crazy, crazy combinations of spells, upgrades, and all that, and it just, it just feels like you're, you're, you're just unstoppable, right? Um, we're gonna, by the way, we're gonna do this, by the way, because we keep healing, and it would just, it could just do bonus damage if we do that. Um, and you, you feel like you're gonna break the game, you know? But then you still end up losing because of the mechanics and the way it works. So let's see, non-boss enemy units enter with spikes four. Random artifact. Well, we've done every one so far, haven't we? Let's do it. I guess we can't stop now. Okay, spikes. Every non-boss enemy unit. That's gonna be rough. Rough. So we should probably play this guy. <laughs> Let's see. Although, hmm. Revenge draw one. He doesn't attack though. Let's put let's put this guy on the first floor. Along with uh, with this dude here. And you know what? We can put this guy there too, but well, he doesn't have a, you know what? Yeah, let's put this on the bottom floor. This is a stupid first floor. My goodness. Oh, this is, I don't know, do damage to somebody? <laughs> let's do a rejuve on this, do some more damage to the front guy. There we go. So that this first guy is gonna go down for sure. And, and we got some resolve, some dudes from the second floor here. Uh, ooh, let's see. Steel worker in front. Looks like it might be the, the thing to do. Rage. And then, yeah, so we'll do steel worker here. Uh, some spikes. Let's see, both these guys, no, they're not both done. Put this guy behind him. And then we will, let me see, we'll put this guy on the second floor here. What does he got? Deal five damage to enemy units. Might as well put him on the front here. That way we can free up that slot, because one to one doesn't do anything. <laughs> Roast. And then. Let's see, 15, huh? It's gonna take a couple attacks for some folks here. But if I do this, it'll be fewer attacks. Yeah. And then we'll do 55. No. And then we might as well stack a couple of these guys on the top floor because enemies are gonna make their way up there. Unbuffed uh, train stewards are not my favorite thing, but you can, like for example, like you see here, uh, you can't get pretty crazy with it. So let's see, revenge, gain one. Oh, dude, can I squeeze this guy anywhere? Uh, three, three, two, damn. Nope, we cannot. Okay. So let's just focus on just doing straight damage to everybody here. So, uh, we'll do a torch. I mean, we'll do a torch in front guy. Just trying to get through that. And then we'll do impolate front guy. There, he's definitely done. Uh, let's see, play 15 armor to front friendly units. Gosh, we put this. God, he does so much damage too, man. There, and then three. Yeah, we can't squeeze him anywhere, so... Oh, Rage 7, let's put this guy at the top. There we go. There we go. Let's speed things up here. Okay, let's see, train steward. Uh, let's restore health, let's restore some health. Take advantage of those uh, bonus attacks there. Let's see... It's not a whole lot... Oh, here we go. Clear out that first guy, you know. And that's all we can run right there, right? Yeah, we're pretty much stacked on every floor. <laughs> zip, 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 go! Okay, I 
again. This guy is going to make it to the top here, and he's going to just... Mm, yes, he's going to do this. Another sting. There, now he's dead. Um, let's see, I have two more here, so I can take this guy out. Just to ensure that happens. And... So he's done. See, 35, see, 10, 16. So, two hits, and he's done, actually. So, even giving this two damage isn't going to do anything there. And for him, 25, he's going to take a hit from everybody. Unfortunately, he's not going to kill everybody. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just throw a heal on... Mm, on you. There, done. Okay, so this is the uh, final wave here. It's the boss of this round. Uh, steward cards are useless right now, or any, any unit card is useless because I can't do anything with them. Let me see. I don't want to do this. Let's just do straight 15 damage, 15 damage, 15 damage. I think that's our best bet there. There. And then that's all we could do. Oh wait, I could have squeezed one of those guys on the sec first floor. I forgot one of my guys died. Oh! It's okay. It's okay. They're not going to get through this, so... This is the gauntlet, man. 159 health? Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do... Attack! Let's go ahead and do... Attack! Let's go ahead and do... I mean, another attack! Oh, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Just let it, let, let it roll here. Beautiful! Look at that! Yeah! Vapor Funnel. It's... What is this? Like a party game? Uh, apply days to enemy units when they enter the pyre room! Your pyre gets minus five. Ooh, man! Uh, so, yes, this, this is... We're gonna take this, but... Um, days just basically... Put, days one, which is the was what this is... Um, all that's gonna do is just basically put them in a days for one turn. But you can get up to like days three, four. I've seen days four, I think, with certain things. A thing called a pulley that will grab an enemy and pull them up to the pyre room. And then I think it's days three or four. Uh, and for those number of turns, the pyre can continue beating on him until he's done. Uh, it's a very, very cool card. Let me see. Uh, restore 25 health and plus, 20, plus two next turn. Draw one uh, each turn. Draw plus one each turn. And then, oh, each turn, huh? Huh, interesting. Consume. Draw plus three next turn. I don't feel like I need a thing that gives me a ton of cards. So like this one, maybe this one. I think this one is free. It's also a unit too, right? Here we go. Sacrifice imp. Deal 50 damage to the front units. Uh, sacrifice imp. Gain two. Draw one. Uh, and then Inferno. Piercing. Deal 100 damage to friendly unit. Oh, wow. Hmm. I do want to maintain that synergy here with, uh, with my imps. Because it can only get better. The more imp cards you have, the stronger the deck is. Let's see. Uh, I'm just looking to remove up two cards from your deck. God, that might be handy now, actually. Money and Pyre Health. I don't have to worry about that. So let's go up to this side. Merchant of Magic. First, let's go ahead and select two cards and get rid of them. No, we'll go here first. Sometimes uh, there are uh, there are certain uh, events like this that will allow you to duplicate a card up to five times. Oh, I've never seen this one. Cave of a Thousand Eyes. You don't I make uh, da, 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 da. okay, so offer wealth, pay 25 coins, 10% chance to gain an artifact, offer life. Uh lose five health, 10% chance to gain an artifact. Oh I mean that doesn't seem very fun. <laughs> Should we just go let's do it, let's do it, let's do uh let's do five health, we're crazy. And then uh oh, do you make another offering? Uh 25? Yeah, let's do it. We continue to question your worth. Let's yeah, why not? We're crazy. Oh my god. Yes. Okay, I'm starting to... I'm, okay, I'm, oh my... Give me a break, dude! Let's offer money. Oh god, god damn it. You gotta be kidding me. Yes, friendly units gain plus three hearts. Sure, that sounds awesome. <laughs> We've deemed you... Fuck you. <laughs> what the hell was that, man? <laughs> oh man. Okay, so let's remove a couple decks from our cards. Uh, actually, let's forge first and then we'll remove. That's what we'll do. Uh, upgrade a spell to remove, consume, and cost plus one ember. And upgrade a spell with plus 20 magic power and consume. Upgrade a spell to cost minus one. Spells. <laughs> spells. That's the important thing. Let me see. Not a lot of spells here. Let's go to the other right here and see. Upgrade a spell plus 20. So that's what we'll do first. Well, first we'll upgrade. Hmm. I know. Uh, we'll do this one. Uh, bonus damage. So, yeah. <laughs> then we will upgrade it to remove, consume. So we could continue using it. <laughs> and in terms of uh, removing spell costs, I don't know how to do that. We're going to go ahead and leave. Now we'll go ahead and see if we can delete some cards. What do we want to delete? These one, these one two, like one one mana, two damage are almost useless. 
almost useless. Almost as useless as having so many train stewards. But I don't necessarily want to get rid of them just yet. So this is just basically gives more every turn that it's out. It's one. That's pretty awesome. Hmm. Let's get rid of one of these. Uh, actually, maybe two of them, actually. Uh, yes. Yeah, we'll get rid of two. So we'll move that one. So this one. And this one. Uh, we'll just get one, one more. Mm, no, nah, yeah, this one. Get basically increasing the op the opportunity for me to get uh, rejuve and rejuve. I can use on that unit that does damage for every rejuve. So that's what I'm trying to go for. Increase the odds. Oh god. It's okay. So uh, heaven seal. Non-boss enemy units restore all health when they move up a floor. No. Okay. 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 Listen. I gotta put my foot down on this one. That's a no. <laughs> that means I have to kill them on each floor. There's just no way. No way. No, 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 no. That's not happening. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We got a combo breaker. Go, go, go. It's not happening. <laughs> ah, look at all these free. Free. I'm not going to spend any mana this turn. <laughs> Let's see what we have. Five damage enemy units. Uh, steel worker. Uh, and then, of course, you. So let's do this first. Then we're going to go ahead and do, let me see, apply three, three to friendly units. So then we'll do what? First we'll do damage. We'll put them in the front, that way we get rid of them. Free up that slot. Then we'll put this here, in the back. Plus three or something. Oh wait, was that a uh, rage? And then, huh, okay. May have read that wrong or something. Maybe, maybe. What? Mike B reads something incorrectly. He doesn't read tooltips. What? <laughs> Guilty, I know. Let me see. Revenge, game plus one. Let's do that right there. And then we will. Oh my god. Oh man, just make him. Oh, I can't do it. Okay. God, I can't do any of these guys. Let's see, he's got two slots. No, I don't. God, why can't they just kill this guy? If only I had, if only I had a 1-2. Oh. <laughs> it's a fireball. I could just torch this guy real quick. All right, let's go ahead and do, see, five. That's going to help these guys out. Plus one the next turn. And then we will do some healing. Then we'll do some more healing. And then we'll go ahead and, God, I, what else can I do? Let's go ahead and actually get this guy stacked at the top here. So we'll at one. And then we'll put uh, 15. You know what? Does he have any kind of revenge or anything? Uh. Rage up, additional put this back, rage up, okay, rage, okay, I don't think he has anything on attack, I, I totally missed it. And then, a train steward, oh, put this guy in the front, fodder, fodder, there we go. You can see at the top here, this is where all of your perks you collect throughout the run, start lining up. Well, it's kind of nice because you're counter too, so this one says whenever you gain, uh, whenever you summon the second unit during a turn, you gain three. So it's kind of nice that it shows you this. Uh, okay, look, man, we have the custodian. I think we should stuff, stuff that Cassodian on the... Oh man, this train steward. This guy Rage 7. Oh baby, this first floor is going to be nasty. Let's put this guy up here in the back. Keep him protected. Let's go and put this dude down here in the front. Has anybody got one health, two health? Oh, look at that. Finally pulling in. This guy's done. And then I have six. I could just... I don't know. I could just spend everything, I suppose. Let's see you here. Uh, do I have someone I want to get rid of? Not really. Okay, so let's go ahead and see, so 16 health, so 5, 16 health, so this guy's going to take him out, so no point in really doing anything there. He's going to make it through somehow. Let's just go and just help speed that along there. This is where getting those plus one cards really help, man. We have tons of, tons of mana, tons of ember, and you can't spend it, right? Just give me more cards, more cards. Here we go! Okay. Um, boy, oh boy. Sacrifice an imp, gain two. Uh, to Ember, let's go ahead and sacrifice an Imp. Damn. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't have an Imp to sacrifice. Uh, just, it's just two Ember that I can live, right? I can't squeeze any, any, any units anywhere, actually. Well, let's go ahead and just do an attack here. Uh, who do we wanna, who do we wanna kill? <laughs> How about you? Keep this guy in check here. Then, Jesus, this is nothing we do. Dude. I guess I could just sacrifice Nip and place him again. That's not a bad idea. Let's try that. This guy here. So Ember. Drop this guy in here. I have another Ember here to go ahead and put there. And that's all we can do. <laughs> go, 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 go. A brief respite. Okay, so basically we get a moment to uh, to heal here. 
Let's go ahead and take care of you. Let's go ahead and do a bunch of restores. A uh, bunch of restores. Let me see who needs a restore. I guess it's you again. And then we'll go ahead and just, we'll just spend this just to get the extra card. Here we go. The final wave. Uh, well, yeah, I guess that's a yes. And then let's see what else. Five damage, so zero. And then restore. And that's all we got. So this is going to be interesting, this first floor here. Got a lot of big swingers here. Look at all the cards I'm getting. <laughs> my hand is full. Oh boy, God, what do I spend this stuff on? <laughs> I can also sacrifice the imp and then summon one again? No, I can't. Uh, although, it might be worth it just to do it anyways. Is he going to die? No, he's not. Okay, yes, we got to be careful here. Let's see. First, let's go ahead and spend this. No red X yet. Okay, I'm not going to do that math, guys, so... We're gonna, we're gonna do this the old-fashioned way and just play. Um, let's go and sacrifice this guy. And pray that we get some good cards in the next round. Oh, God. Uh, that's not, that's, that was not good. Okay, so let's go ahead and torch this guy as much as we can. Torch, sing, torch, zippity zap. And then we'll go ahead and heal this guy who has no health. And I'm not gonna play this card because I'm not gonna get anything for it. I don't want to get that slot. Oh man! Oh god! Okay, God, I really should have got rid of that car. That was a mistake. I have so much ember too. Isn't that stupid? <laughs> so much. Just keep on spending it. Uh, yep. Might as well top these guys off. I'm gonna put this boy in the front. There we go. All right, so he's not gonna die. Uh, he's gonna actually do a lot of damage to my. Uh... Oh, he's gonna do so much damage to my pyre. Uh oh. This looks, this looks looking bad, guys. This looking not good. Oh no! Oh no! I should have taken. I should have taken that damage. Oh god! Oh, I'm really hoping to win one. Oh, it sucks. Hey, but you know what though? That's perfect because you guys got to see. Uh, that was actually the worst one I've done. <laughs> Can you believe it? That's the worst one I've done. I believe it. Well, uh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I mean, honestly, that was fun, though. I mean, every single run is totally different, uh, which is very, very cool. Um, let me see. Copy Deep Link. What does Copy Deep Link mean? A copy is linked to your clipboard that you can send to other Moss Train players to easily view this run summary. Let's go and take a look at that since I got you guys here. Let me see. Uh, it wants to open up the result. Oh, it actually opens up the game. Oh, how interesting. What a cool system. Wow, very polished, man. Like overall, this game is super polished, super, super polished. Um, I am uh, honestly very impressed with this game. Uh, top, top every day from uh, the BFF community. He actually hooked me up with this game. Uh, he came at me basically with a huge, huge, huge novel. Uh, just, just, just being just so ecstatic over the game and he's been playing it the the demo he's been playing in beta uh and he figured it was something that i'd be into i mean after neoverse and, and steamworld quest and various other card games that i play like you know this i'm no crip or anything like that but i do enjoy these games and uh and he's right man like this thing's right up my alley i really really enjoy this game uh it is i think it was a 22 22 49 or something right now you know the intro sale regular price is 24.99 Lots and lots and lots of replayability. Lot, very, very polished. The multiplayer is extraordinarily hectic and a lot of fun. Uh, and and yeah, I mean, I just can't recommend this game anymore. Like, it's super good. We've had a lot of really good indie games lately. And, uh, <laughs> and the reason why this show is back. <laughs> Some of these are just too good to let go. So that's it, guys. My name is Mike B. Thank you so much for hanging out. Monster Train, check it out on Steam. Link is below. And I will see you guys later.